What defines strength is not the physical aspect of it. It's not how much money you have. It's not about the car that you drive. It's not about anything that's superficial in my opinion. What defines someone as being strong is being able to get back up in the toughest situations. My name is Trey Tober, and here's a brief insight on my story. 20 years old, this journey began four years ago when I was 16, moving into a new home in Delaware with my family. Each and every year, from 13 years old up to 19 years old, I will move to a different location each and every year. What made me want to bodybuild, what made me want to be in fitness, what made me want to motivate people. Then I'll tell you this, motivation, you can't buy motivation. It's gotta be within you. And my story is what motivates people. How I am right now, my actions, what I do is what motivates people. I don't lift weights to be the biggest guy in the world. I don't lift weights to flaunt, to flash, to show people, oh my gosh, guys, I can do this, I'm this strong. No, because that thing can come and go. What I wanna do is, I wanna broadcast myself to hundreds, thousands, and millions of people in this world. Really emphasizing how important it is on believing in yourself. And that word, believing in yourself, it may sound cliche because it's used a lot, but sometimes it can be used amongst the wrong individuals. And when I say believe in yourself, I'm really mean believing in yourself when you have rock bottom. You have nothing left. At least that's what it feels like. You have nothing left in the tank. And I'm not even just talking about the gym. I'm just talking about life itself, struggling, not knowing how it feels to, you know, have tons of money. Not knowing how it feels to be able to get up and go to the gym. That's the part that I struggled at. And when I was 16 years old, I didn't have a gym membership. All my friends at the time had gym membership. All my friends had cars. All my friends had money. The only thing I had was a barbell, two weights, and a basement, which I used to my advantage each and every day when I came back from high school. I came back every day. That was the only thing that was on my mind is bettering myself. And I actually am so thankful for that opportunity of not having a gym membership at first because it really allowed me to find out who it is that I really am. The dedication and the discipline has really kicked in. I didn't even have money for supplements, but it didn't matter because at the end of the day, I was still building a deep relationship with myself, spiritually and mentally. The physical part is a side effect. Motivating people is a side effect of doing what you love doing. This is not really a job to me. It's a lifestyle. Going into the gym, going under that squat rack. It's not about, you know, pushing so much weight. It's about having that weight on your back and getting right back up. The gym, the weights, that's a metaphor of my life and the struggle and the grind. I don't do this for fun. You know, I don't do this to show people I can do no hand squats on Instagram. It's to let you know that you can believe in yourself. It is a sanctuary for me. It is an outlet. It is literally a mental outlet for me. So when I do this, I don't do it to taunt anybody because I know what I'm capable of doing. There will be no competition. I'm not competitive, but this is what I do. I'm challenged. I'm ready for anybody to call me out at any given moment. I want that. I want people to push me. I want people to challenge me. I want people to call me out because this is who I am and I will always stay true to myself at the end of the day. My name is Trey Tober. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how short you are. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care if you have muscles, if you don't have muscles. If you believe in yourself, that's all that matters. If you have a vision, you stick to it. If you have a passion, you go out there and get it. Life is too short. It can be taken at any given moment. And when you dwell on the things that you don't have, negativity, hanging around the wrong crowd, and you just wasting your breath, you do what you made to do. You do what you have been gifted to do. Everyone has a gift. We all go through trials and tribulations in life. Sir, you do, man. Challenge yourself. I will never be content with my lifestyle. I will never be satisfied with the things that I'm doing, even if I'm on the right track. You always want to strive for greatness, being better than what you were. Come on, man. Motivation, it's not scripted, man. This shit comes naturally. What I've been through. You know what I mean? I'm giving my knowledge off to y'all for free. 
I don't care about the money. This is what I do. Do this shit without the camera, on the camera, off the camera. It's whatever, man. It's my life. I live this shit from day one. No excuses are necessary because at the end of the day, life moves on. Life moves on. Time has never stopped. Energy can only be transferred, it cannot be lost. So it's best for you to hang around those individuals that's gonna get you to where you need to be. And if not, you can be solo because nothing is gonna be handed to you. Even if you're with them positive individuals, you're the only one that's gonna get you to get success. My name is Trey Tober. I am 20 years old. I am the baby hawk. I am the workout warrior. I am the beast. This is what I do each and every day of my life. Peace.